Jim McCrite from McCrite Progressive Dentistry in Steamboat Springs. And this is Ms. Jamie Rotuno. You guys remember Jamie as we've been doing these videos quite a bit uh, the last couple of weeks and months um, at McCrite Progressive Dentistry in Steamboat. All right, Jamie, we're going to talk about oral DNA today. And this is real live stuff because this is a real live case. And we're going to go through some results. So, Jamie, take it away. Tell okay. So, many people ask me what happens when somebody that you're in a relationship with has periodontal disease and the other person doesn't. Well, periodontal pathogens, just like any other things that can be transmissible, can be transferred from one person to another. This here is a great case um, and shows that exactly to that point. So on the right here, we see the first person that came to see us. So you see that there's a lot of pathogens, high risk, moderate risk, low risk. Um, Let's see, one, two, almost all, all of the pathogens are above threshold besides one, and that's the EC here. Most importantly, PG and FN are way above threshold. And as we know, those are the pathogens that are known to cause heart disease, um, not just associated with heart disease anymore. So when we look at this person's partner, you can see side by side, excuse me, that this person also has these three high-risk pathogens. While they're not as high above threshold, they're still above threshold. The only difference in these two cases is that this person has CR and this person has EN. So it's pretty crazy when you look at bacteria side by side, what can happen between two mouths. You may be thinking to yourself, that's crazy and kind of gross, but really, if you're kissing someone, you're transferring spit. I know that's nasty, but anything that they have, you can have. What's really interesting about these two cases is that when we look at their periodontal charting, both of them have bleeding as well. And the even more interesting thing is on the left here, this person really was not aware that, she, that they had any issue at all. Um, perfectly pink gums, they do things, everything at home that they're supposed to be doing, but when you look down to the brass tacks of everything, this person really ideally needs periodontal therapies, periprotect trays, a water pick with closest and hydrogen peroxide um, in order to keep up with the other person that's already getting treated. Now what happens if sh this person doesn't get treated and this person does? Well, just like anything else, this person isn't gonna have as great of a result as what they would is if both people were getting treated together. And that's oftentimes what we like to have happen <coughs> Excuse me. That's Sorry. okay, Dr. Jim. Um, that's often what we like to have happen is to treat both people at one time. That way we get rid of all of the infection and nothing's getting passed back and forth. That's probably one of the biggest challenges because usually we'll have one of these people in the office, one of, one of these clients in the office, and then the other one maybe is not wanting to come, and it could be a he or a she, obviously. Um, a lot of times it's the male uh, the male partner, unfortunately, and again, this charting is basically linked. It looks like, Jamie, you have it linked with the respective oral DNA. So I sure do. I like to say that the charting itself, and we said this in the last video, the ingredients of the charting and those bleeding points um, is basically what these bacteria are kind of highlighted, as Jamie discussed. And I definitely agree with that, Dr. Jim. I, you know, I think that we also think of it as a GPS. The charting here is a great roadmap, but it's more like your Red McNeil. It doesn't tell us anything in between my point of destination and point of start. It doesn't tell me if there's any roadblocks, if there's a quicker way to get there, or if there's even going to be, the road is even going to be open. Um, and so that's what I really like to use my oral DNA as, is a GPS in order for me to treat my patients in the best possible manner. All right, Jamie. So this is about four minutes. We'll okay. kind of wrap up this right. session as far as oral DNA, and we'll just call it oral DNA and couples okay. with periodontal disease Perfect. and how we kind of uh, look at that. Anything else you want to say? I don't think so, Dr. Jim. All right. Make have, it a great day. Have a great day.